Teresa Madden here with TeresaMadden.com. Today is day 66 in my 100 video challenge where every day for 100 days I shoot a video and I share it with you. It is with the Internet, Li Internet Lifestyle Network, Vincent Ortega Jr. threw this challenge out and I accepted it. Today I would like to share with you Holiday Mail for Heroes program put on by the Red Cross and Pitney Bowes. <music> The Holiday Mail for Heroes program is sending cards, cards only, no letters, to our service members, be it they um, are on the U.S. soil or they are abroad, they could be recuperating in a hospital, they're for anyone serving in the U.S. military, all of our service members. You're going to mail these cards to Holiday Mail for Heroes, P.O. Box 5456, Capitol Heights, Maryland, 20791-5456. This is just one very small way for us to show our appreciation to all of the service members who have sacrificed so much for us. So I want to make sure that we get this out there. We appreciate them so very much. So very much. Now we're going to go through a couple of the do's and don'ts. Make sure that you postmark these cards this year by December 6th. It's a Friday. That gives them plenty of time to get there and be distributed in a timely manner. And if you would like to send holiday cards, any holidays, that's why they're holiday cards. Just make sure you send them postmarked a minimum of two weeks before the holiday so that they'll be able to be distributed before the holiday, which would be awesome. And so just make sure if you do that, you can think about this. It would be great if you had a group of people that wanted to get together and do this. You would just put them all in one great big envelope. The cards don't even need their own in small envelopes because they'll be taken out of those envelopes before they're distributed. So the service members really get the card okay make sure you sign the card that's important and use generic greetings generic salutations such as dear service member and cards only again no letters please and do not put your email address or your home address on the cards they it's not um this isn't geared towards developing developing a pen pal relationship. It really is their greeting cards, just holiday cards, letting them know people are thinking about them at the holidays. Do not put any photos in there, any inserts, nothing. Card only. And the one thing is, is if you put anything in there like that, they're going to have to get rid of them. So it's really more time consuming and for the people that are distributing the cards. And no glitter. It could really interfere with people's health, um, our service members' health, and we want to not aggravate those health issues, okay? If you would like to donate any kind of other items, phone cards, military comfort kits, go to the Help Our Troops section of the Red Cross online catalog, and that way you will get information of all of the procedures and how and what you can send. To, to them there. And again, here is your mailing address for the Holiday Mail for Heroes. So I hope you join me in supporting our troops in this fashion. It um, is so easy for us to do. It takes such a little bit of time, but it would be such a thoughtful, thoughtful thing to do for this holiday season. And that would be us giving back. Join me in sending Holiday Mail for Heroes. Until tomorrow, dare to dream.